Nebraska has made a formal application to join the BRICS, guys. This is Marcel with Ernie Racing News. Here we have news on Ethiopia and BRICS. The BRICS is Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa. Those are the original founders of BRICS who are making their own trading system, their own global trade group where they can trade directly with their own currency or product for product and, and stuff out the American dollar, not using the American dollar for trade as a, as a kind of a commodity uh, to, that they trade against. So we expect this is from Ethiopia. This means that the Ethiopia is betting that these nations are the economic and security pl- block to join as opposed to NATO. We, you know, which is the G7s, right? You got your Canada, you, you had your US running it all, paying for it all, and then you got a little bit of Canada in there, and you got your Macron in France and so forth. We And Japan, we expect BRICS will give us a positive response to the request we have made, Foreign Ministry spokesperson Meliz LM told journalists about this application. Ethiopia has the second largest population in Africa and is resource rich, but the economy is not. It ranks 59th in the world according to the International Monetary Fund, but it has petroleum, natural gas, gold, and other minerals. BRICS accounts for 40% of the world's population and about 25% of the global economy, but that number will grow if resource rich countries sign on. So here's on Ali, Ali Jer, Jera. Aljazeera.com, sorry. Ethiopia applies to join the BRICS block of emergency economies. And here's the Prime Minister. Abi Ahmed arrives for the Mescal Square inauguration, June 13, 2021. That was just a photo of him. So again, Ethiopia, one of the Africa's fastest growing economies, has asked to join the BRICS block of the emerging, emerging markets, the foreign ministry said on Thursday. The term BRIC was coined by Goldman Sachs economist Jim O'Neill in 2001 to describe the rise of Brazil, Russia, India, and China. The BRIC powers had their first summit in 2009 in Russia. South Africa joined in 2010, making it BRICS. That's the S on the end. <laughs> We expect BRICS will give us a positive response to the request we have made, blah, blah, blah. Ethiopia will continue to work in international institutions that can protect its interests. The Horn of African nation has the second largest population in Africa, but its economy is again 59th in the world. Um, Last year, Argentina, the world's 23rd largest economy, said it had received China's formal support to join the group. And Argentina, which has, is seen as a powerful emerging market alternative to the West. The bloc has previously said that other countries have also applied to join. Like Macron, guys, of France. Apparently, he was trying to force his way into a meeting. He wanted to join the BRICS meeting and kind of just invited himself. I don't know the result of that, but how funny is it when you have a G7 country such as France, who's a totalitarian country, running with the G7 and all their narrative, where he sees his country failing, he starts to look like, well, we do need to plan for the future regardless of the narrative we're pushing. So that's interesting. I'll find an article on it. Again, BRICS countries account for more than 40%. Da, da, da. South Africa said on Thursday it would host the next summit in August as planned amid speculation it could be moved to a country where Russia's President Vladimir Putin would not face the rest over war crime accusations. Wild. In March, the International Criminal Court ICC issued a warrant for his arrest for allegedly deporting children from Ukraine to Russia that has spurred debate within and beyond South Africa, an ICC signatory which is obligated to arrest Putin if he visits the country for the BRICS summit. Wow. Yeah. We'll see about that. Huh? And we'll find out the truth. I mean, from Ukraine, from Ukraine to Russia, and more like people fleeing, Russian ethnic people in the Donbass region fleeing to Russia for their safety. And here we have on Politico.eu. Oh, uh, no. Get out of here. Get out of here. Macron wants to crash the summit with Russia, China, and allies. France is waiting for an invitation. Reject all. I hate that crap. French president wishes to become the first Western leader to be invited to a BRIC summit. <laughs> this is classic. Quote, quote, having a dialogue is always positive, even when we don't 100% agree on everything. <laughs> what a joke. And another article. Macron, no way. Russia doesn't want French leader at summit with China and allies. The Kremlin says it would be inappropriate for France's president to crash the meeting. I think so, because he is part of the war. 
He is a warmonger. That's what he's doing against Russia. So why would Russia want him to allow him to be in there? How ridiculous. Quotation, consider this, the inappropriateness of the appearance of a representatives of the collective West. There is simply obvious. So again, that is a collectivism. Collectivism is communism. The communist West, the communist G7. The BRICS group of large emerging economies is the global South's answer to the G7 group of Western industrialized countries. The collective, we call them. Anyways, guys, that's Marcel with Ernie Racing News, guys, on July 5th, 2023.